So mind you, I'm watching the disaster and emergency alert map. For those that don't know what that is, that's essentially like a 24-hour doom point. That whenever you want to see what's going on in the world and see any kind of doom and despair, you check this out and you'll see all the damage and death that is going on around the world. This is airplane crashes, natural disasters, uh, biological explosions, nuclear meltdowns, pretty much anything you can imagine. I mean, literally anything. If it's a disaster and it's killed people, it's going to be up on here. It's not going to talk about like murders or anything like that, but it will talk about like destructive type forces, you know? So, a lot of the things that tend to happen are forest fires and things like that, and it may just be that uh, they're still active and they haven't contained them, they haven't gotten rid of them, so they just stay up there. But anyway, the point is that as I look at this thing, I don't see that many people dying. I mean, you know, it changes every day, obviously. But, like, today, there was a whole lot of fucking airplane crashes. The problem was, there wasn't anybody on those planes. You know, in between taking people to and from a destination, uh, you know, shit tends to happen. That seems to be when shit tends to happen, is when, uh, on that off time. And so the only person that suffers is the pilot. And, you know, that just, it, it just disappoints me, I guess. It disappoints me that I don't see as many people die as supposedly should be, given the propaganda that we're fed. See, this, the last time I made a video like this, it got deleted because, well, Geno 360 is a prick, made the little kid rot in hell, you know, but it's true. If there is no physical way that Stalin and Mao and even Hitler could have killed nearly as many people as they claim they did. Everyone's got a story to tell. Hitler killed 6 million Jews. Stalin killed 10 million of his own people. Mao killed however fucking million they want to throw out there. And you're just supposed to accept it. You're just supposed to say, okay, that many million of people died. Even though that's fucking ridiculous. You know, we have the technology now to kill more people than ever before. Are more people dying? No. We have things called the Geneva Convention. We have things called war crimes. We have things called sensibility. We're sensible about our enslavement of the people. It doesn't mean we're free. It just means that the masters are not stupid to kill off all their cattle. So, even if you want to believe that the Soviet Union was this terrible, horrible place, would it really be practical to kill one out of every ten people? And the, and the thing was that Geno360 was only proving me more right because he was uh, challenging my math when I said one out of ten people when it might have been like one out of nine people or some shit like that. I'm not paying attention to half this crap anyway because I know it's full of shit. But the fact is he's arguing with me that more people died, thus making the story even more ridiculous. The fact is, you're not going to be able to sustain your country killing that many of your own people. It's just fucking retarded. Even if you were to blame metaphysical activity, even if you were to say it wasn't Stalin that killed uh, those one out of every ten Russians, it was the fact of starvation and disease and things like that. While that's more believable, it still leaves out the equation of if you kill 10% of the fucking population, people are going to notice. It's going to affect your economy. It's going to affect your livelihood. It's going to affect your society for years and years to come. And I don't see people talking about that. I don't see people talking about how they were one out of the, they were families of the one out of ten that just suddenly died, disappeared, gone, you know? It doesn't work that way. And if it did, it, why isn't that being talked about? All they vaguely say is, oh, people died. But what people? What are their names? What are their stories? Surely they have some. You know, I, I don't see any fucking Schindler's List for uh, the 10 million killed under Stalin or Mao or whatever. I don't think it happened. And, you know, you're going to have to give me some pretty hardcore evidence in order to think otherwise. And even if you give me that evidence, I'm not going to... You know, I might not argue with you that the people died, but I will argue with you that I don't give a fuck still. Even if they did die, oh, oh well. You know, people deserve to die. They're stupid. They're evil. So, you know, that's why I'm looking at this thing right here. Because, you know, I want to see people die. 
but um, it's just not turning out that way, you know, because people are durable. People are physically durable and endure, endure a lot of bullshit. It's not that easy to die. You know, why do you think people fail all the time to kill themselves? It's just really not all that easy to kill somebody. I know it makes it out like it's that easy. On paper, it's easy. But people can live through a lot of shit. They might end up fucked up. They might lose a limb. They might hobble around a little bit with one eye. Uh, but... For the most part, people stay alive throughout everything. It's a combination of the human body was meant to endure a lot more than we give it credit for, and on the same token, we do have a will to live. Instinctively, everyone has the desire to live and to procreate, etc. ad infinitum. So, if you just, I don't believe that just every time there's a random dictator, all these millions of people die. But then simultaneously, there's a population crisis. Oh, we have an overpopulation. Have the abortions. Uh, you know, have the gay sex. Wear a condom. Because there's too many people. Even though, fucking, every time you turn around, 10 million people die, apparently. Really. So, where are all these people coming from? You know, you can only get pregnant once every nine months. How the fuck do you make that work? How do you make that math work? Where you got 10 million people here and 10 million people there and 10 million people ever and everywhere dying. You only get pregnant once every nine months. And then there's an overpopulation crisis. So, you know, it's just mind-boggling. But that's how propaganda works. It's double speak. It's literally about telling you two very different things on purpose. It's indoctrination. It's the fact that they can tell you any line of bullshit and you'll take it as truth. Because you're supposed to. Because that's your only option. You're obligated to take it as the truth. If you don't take it as the truth, you're the problem. You're a troll. You're, you know, psychotic. You're crazy. You're stupid. They'll make up any excuse in the world. So they can tell you two contradictory things, and then you'll be expected to say both are real. Even though it's completely ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous to say that this many fucking people die. And then simultaneously say there's a population crisis. You know what the only population crisis is? There's too many people on the planet that you don't like. That's about it. Myself included. There are more people on this planet than I want there to be. Because a lot of them aren't people I particularly like. But it has nothing to do with overpopulation. It's just the fact there's more old people, crazed veterans, and racial minorities than you would actually prefer, including you, Geno360, regardless of what you say, that everyone else is a racist and a sexist and a homophobe and this and that, except for you. Guess what? Where are your black friends? Where are your female friends? Where are your any friends? You don't have any fucking friends. So, you know, don't talk to me about this bullshit. Everyone has people they don't want to exist on the planet. And for me, it isn't even about race or gender or anything like that. It's actually about moderators. The moderators is a state of mind. You're not born a moderator. You're not, you know, a moderator because of who your parents were. You're not a moderator as a religion, even though it has some of the tenets of a religion. The fact is, you, you might have a disposition toward acting like that because you're a sociopath, but you choose to do that. The same way people choose to be an axe murderer or a pedophile. So, what, you're going to defend the pedophiles and axe murderers, too? So, until people start to recognize the problem, moderators, I'm going to continue to watch this shit. And hope that Mark Zuckerberg or the YouTube staff or Google staff or any other moderator, for that matter, gets into an airplane crash or in a forest fire or a nuclear accident or something. Tornado, whatever, you know. And hope something bad happens to them, but probably won't. Because, like I said... People just don't die as quickly as they would like us to believe. You know, and I'm running out of time here. So I guess that's it. Maybe I'll make a part two in a little bit.